Hi dear readers, this is Simone Rich and in this video I'm going to talk about what it was like to travel the world for 12 years as a digital nomad and um, my advice about it considering current times, taking that into, into consideration as well. I am very glad that I trusted myself and started my journey as an entrepreneur and what encouraged me were the books such as uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, um, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I also liked Bob Proctor's materials though his customer service totally sucks so they sell um, useful material but then if something goes wrong, uh, you will not get your money back. So that's an unfortunate thing, but he helped me too. As well as Timothy Ferris with his 4-hour work week book. That book really inspired me and it um, fully convinced me that it's possible to work for yourself and to travel the world and to have plenty of free time. I totally believed it, I worked enthusiastically towards it and I achieved it. It took me six months to succeed and then I moved to India because it was very cheap to live and I asked the universe where should I move from the UK and that was the country that kept coming up. I just kept hearing about it and I took it as a sign that I should move there and of course I was encouraged by the um, affordability of living there and from the book for our work week I learned another way of seeing richness, abundance not from the perspective of money but from the perspective of time so basically it's natural to assume that uh, People who are wealthy have like a million dollars in their bank account. But actually, if they slave every single day, not having any time, that's actually a, a poor person because he's poor in time. And the person who may not have a million pounds or dollars in a bank account yet, they do what they like in their life. These people are truly rich and I love books which change, like completely transform my mindset and this book was one of them. So it made me realize that actually it's true. Rich people are not the ones that uh, can, you know, show bank account with uh, or like have <coughs> assets, but, but rich people are the ones that are rich in time. So this inspired me to live such a life and I created it and I don't have a million dollars in my bank account but I consider myself rich because I do what I want. I always did. For 12 years I was traveling the world. I lived in the places that I loved, uh, especially India and now I moved back to my home country and I consider it a good ending of my uh, extremely frequent travels because for I think that 12 years is enough and I started to travel at the right time and I'm finishing my travels at the right time so now I'm 34 so I started traveling at around the age of 22 maybe even earlier than that well actually from the age of 18 19 I moved to UK to live independently but then I was still an employee there but from around the age of 21 to 22 I started traveling uh, from my own income as a self-employed person and I never looked back I traveled I I was so passionate about traveling and then I would uh, stay in some place for a few months like to come I went would go back to Europe and stay there for maybe three months not even six months and then I would again feel the need to travel and this was happening all the time but now um, 
there is a stage I came to this kind of um, stage where I'm no longer 20 something I'm 34 and I want more stability and it's just the right time to finish my travels and I feel finally good in my place of birth and I enjoy every day staying here I enjoy that and that's amazing because it never happened before so as my age progresses I think this is the right time to end frequent travels and that's exactly when this <clears throat> virus situation started when I, I was feeling that I should settle in one place of course I think I thought this would happen in Asia but because of the circumstances you probably know about that I made videos about it I had to leave Asia uh, come to the UK and now I'm in Lithuania and I was so uncertain I thought that again I would not enjoy living in Lithuania but I love living here <clears throat> so now some advice about people who want to do what I did traveling as a digital nomad working for themselves now times are really really changing and I think that um, you have to be extremely flexible and always updated about what's happening and exploit the the opportunities that quickly arise you have to act very quickly <clears throat> and in every disaster there there is always an opportunity and in every financial economic downfall there is always an opportunity to make a lot of money so it just depends what you focus on so um, for example now as a result of traveling getting so difficult there is an opportunity to uh, make money by <clears throat> organizing for example by organizing people in different countries that you know uh, where they can offer accommodation and even if a person has uh, some symptoms of coronavirus they would still be able to stay in that accommodation like it could be at home some separate room of a person so they would then be not scared that if something happens they would still be able to stay in that place I mean there are always opportunities or even my brother he is also entrepreneurial person and uh, although he doesn't believe in this virus um, like me he started with his uh, friend selling some kind of um, um, like blinders that are supposed to protect people from virus and I don't know how they work but they're using this opportunity and they, they are selling they are getting sales and restaurants are also offering takeaway things so it's always you have to always think about how to use the situation to your advantage and not you know go with the crowd which is always scared and you know doing the wrong things but just think creatively and think how can I profit from this situation what can I do to thrive in the situation and if you think positively you will always come up with new you know with something new with something that you can profit from and in these changing times this is going to be so important to be extremely adaptable and to never rely on just one source of income but have many but you have many and I also have multiple streams of income so if one would drive up I would still have others and I would be able to focus on those others to expand them so always have multiple sources of income and online now a very good source of income is medium and I will leave a link to my medium um, account and I think that I actually am able to give free membership but I don't know whether I can give it to a specific person or just a general link I, I if I can give a general link I will link that below the video so basically medium is a writing platform if you love writing uh, if you focus on that platform you can make a lot of money um, I'm not focusing on it but now I started to write a little bit more on it it's good to improve my writing skills uh, yet I do generate uh, regular income from that source 
And I, what I notice is that once you have some kind of winning article, article that gets popular, you can make money from that article for years just from one article. But you have to be really good at writing. You know, um, you have to know English grammar. You have to write engaging content because competition on that site is high. It's really high. But um, this is a really good way of making money, but it's not going to be a fast way. So if you and I love these kind of focusing on these long term income generating sources. So article by article, uh, you know, you write articles regularly and then one of them succeeds and already you secured some income and then another succeeds so slowly but surely you will generate more and more income so i highly recommend uh, this platform so the key now is um, to focus on um, multiple ways of earning money and to be very flexible always being updated about what's happening not because you're fearing virus or anything like this but to see how you can use uh, op opportunities you know in every difficult situation there is always an opportunity and i think that the <clears throat> the powers that be uh, they are trying to remove people who are like me you know digital nomads people who really enjoy what they do not dependent on any corporation any kind of you know they are not slaves they are free and i think that now there is a focus on destroying these people but um, i hope we are not the last generation of such you know free people digital nomads but I hope that there will be opportunities later to do exactly the same. As I said, if you diversify and if you stay flexible, then uh, you can still make it uh, during these times. Internet is booming now, everyone is online. So there are opportunities to make money uh, online in different ways yet. The uh, competition is huge because now everyone is trying to do something online. And also, um, when it comes to travel, frequent travel, I don't find it expensive. Uh, you have to just uh, spend most money. Most money goes to visas and flights. But the rest, it's like you can live really cheaply, especially if you travel in Asia. Um, rooms are so cheap almost in every country in asia especially where i travel and where i love traveling like india nepal sri lanka is a little bit more expensive but still there are many places with affordable rooms and thailand i heard that i was in thailand but just for a short time but there are also affordable accommodation options so traveling in asia is extremely cheap and all you have to spend is really on flights and the rest you can really live very cheaply i was i'm listening sometimes to some budget travelers and they would say they can live on a few dollars a day in um, you know in asian countries but now as i moved to uh, lithuania and i live in the capital in the most expensive part of the capital which is called vilnius old town um, I have to spend a lot on accommodation, nothing compared to how what I used to spend, maybe three times as much, but um, it's worth it because I enjoy staying here. It's It has good energy, you know, and it's important for me to stay in a location with good energy. But um, of course, I have to now pay much more attention to where I spend money, what I buy. Whilst when I was living in Asia, I never had this concern. I would buy when I want, what I wanted, where I wanted. I, you know, I would just take rickshaw somewhere without thinking. But here, it's of course different in Europe because it's much more expensive. So you have to really pay attention to such things. But this is for me the time to. Um, uh, stay in one place. I'm so happy to have this beautiful studio and I really enjoy my time here. I don't know. I have no idea how long I will stay here, 
but um, this is the right t place for me to stay here and for people who uh, now cannot uh, go anywhere and they don't like the place where they stay but they have to stay it what might help for them is practicing what i practice now a course in miracles or just simple positive thinking but now i'm on the lesson 39 of a course in miracles and i find it so transforming because i used to as you may know dislike staying in lithuania and i i saw so many negative things about it but now i just love staying in my country i love it um, and i think it has a lot to do with a changed mind changed way of viewing the world you know viewing this place viewing people in general i view the world now in a different way it's just lesson by lesson uh, when you're doing those daily lessons which last a year your perception starts changing and you become so much lighter there is more lightness because there is absolutely you do not allow any negativity in your mind because what you what's the mental content that will be reflected in the world so whenever and you then become so aware when you're doing those lessons because whenever because when you're doing those lessons every time you have to have some kind of affirmation like i'm blessing the world something beautiful like this and so you're in that beautiful vibe and then suddenly the ego wants to take over and it starts suspecting someone or thinking negatively and straight away the vibration goes so down and you catch it and then you ask like what is told in um, the course in miracles this course that i'm talking about that you have to ask the inner you you know the it's called the holy spirit but it's a christian term it's a little bit different how how they describe it it's the mediator between this world and the spiritual world so you can ask it to help to show you the right world the right way of looking at the world and then you get out of that negative vibration and then you again uh, get on that higher vibration so the whole day is so light and you realize you actually have no problems is the ego that makes problems so if at the moment you are stuck in one place and you don't like that location maybe you should look into that course because it will really help you to accept where you are and to see where you are in a different way and then you will notice that you're actually benefited wherever you are because if you're stuck if you're not happy where you are it's not that you are like uh, a victim of the circumstances but you created that those circumstances because firstly we think and then we experience so through that course your mind will change and if you, your mind will change for the better circumstances will have to reflect it because it's just the consequence of what you're thinking so i think that i want i shared everything uh, with you about the land that i have in lithuania now it's cold so i'm not going to return there but when it's getting warmer if i'm lucky enough to save money for that place then i'm going to uh, try to extend it and to um, have a well installed so that i'm able to do something with that place maybe even to as i said i wanted to make some kind of mindfulness center there or maybe firstly for my readers those who support me to stay there and i may be able to have some kind of patreon uh, tiers and to offer on certain tiers the opportunity to stay in that place when i would be there or something like this well i really do want to uh, make that place livable because that's the land you know beautiful land that i own and if i'm able to do something about it then um, i will be able to offer some kind of service of you know my readers staying there so that would be wonderful 
um so i think that's all for today i guess i should also tell that i came back from shopping today i went shopping i bought so many nice things uh, a few cakes lithuania has amazing cakes i also bought um apple cheese which is uh the one of the best best sweets of lithuania that i know and it's it's really cheese but it's with, made with apples so it's sweet it's kind of a little bit sour it's so tasty and i will show you an image of it how it looks like the today it's very it's quite cold and it's raining but uh, it wasn't that cold but little bit cold and um yeah i was i went uh, also to buy a uh, tea tree essential oil and there is only one place um in no two places in vilnius where i found uh, organic tea tree oil so i bought it a, and it's so good for for gums you know if you have some kind of like gum inflammation when i travel sometimes i get something such things or when weather changes so i noticed that if i use tea tree oil the inflammation is gone and i also use it for the scalp of uh, because uh, sometimes it gets dry so um, it's very good for the scalp use also so i think that's all i wanted to share with you in this video thank you for watching have a great day take care